Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lanolin, and we are back with episode 125 of my modded Minecraft Let's Play series. And in this episode, we are going to work a little bit on uh, getting a hold of a whole bunch of books via a stronghold library. Now, in the previous episode, I derped up pretty hardcore in saying that we were going to go look for a stronghold. We've already actually found a stronghold. We found a stronghold a long ass time ago. That's how we have access to the end. Now, I again, I again remind everybody that it was a long time ago. All right, give me a break. I forgot. All right, I forgot. But that's okay because I actually needed to refind it anyway because the uh, the waypoint was no longer on my waypoint map thing, so I had to go find it again, which wasn't too hard actually. I just did the Ender Pearls and it led me right back to them, and I found my hole and I remarked it. Now I haven't gone back in there, so I don't actually know if there are if there is a library in there. But, I mean, I vaguely remember coming across a pretty well-established library, but I can't remember if that was in my Departed series or not. So we'll see. We'll see if this was it or not. So hopefully, hopefully things turn out for the better. In the meantime, before we head over there, I actually would like a way to get back quickly. Um, currently, the portal gun, I mean, we could use the portal gun, but it's kind of tied up with this, you know? I like this. I like having this like quick access. So I'm going to try something a little bit new, a little bit different, something that's uh, a little bit more traditional, I should say. Although instant intradimension or instant intradimensional teleportation, I guess really isn't traditional, <laughs> but I like the way this is going to work. So anyway, if you've watched my unstable series, you'll know that RF tools has some pretty nifty teleportation mechanics. Um, now, they they work a little bit differently in 1.7. Like, well, I, I should say in general they work the same. But some of the items that I need to use work a little bit differently in 1.7 as opposed to how they do in 1.8.9. Uh, mostly because not all of the features are implemented in 1.8.9. But that's, eh, we'll save that for the Unstable series. So anyway, what I want to kind of do is kind of set up a, a way that I can swiftly get back to my base utilizing something other than the portable, uh, the, the portal gun. Plus, the charged porter is its just instant, man. You just run, 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 and hit it. Boom. See, at least with the uh, with the portal gun, I got to get my remote out. I got to charge it up. You know, I got to turn it on, make sure that the portal here is on. Then I got to drop the portal. Then I can go through. With this, I can have monsters chasing after me. Like, it's just like my emergency. Oh, shit, I need to get home right freaking now. Device. Plus, it's going to help me get back from the end when we go fight the Ender Dragon and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. I want to set that up this episode. What's also cool, which uh, is kind of what motivated me to go ahead and set this up, whoosh, is that it gives me something to do with this stuff over here. I went ahead, you know, last episode, we remember we fixed up the uh, old AE room, and uh, it looks nice, and I went ahead and started closing this up and then ran out of blocks. Uh, but I figured this would be a great place to put our RF tools shenanigans. Now, one thing we did do is close this up and get rid of all the pipage, but that's okay because it's right there. We can hook everything back up quite easily. Nice. Cool. So let me jump on out of here. Get me out. Let me out, please. Freedom. All right. Awesome. Up we go. And let's grab some conduits and get some of these machines built, man. Now, we don't need anything too special, nothing too ridiculous. Uh, now, the only downside, the only difference, or I guess I should say one of the differences between my setup in uh, Feed the Beast Unstable, the 189 world that I have going on, um, and in here, is that I won't be able to use the Advanced Charged Porter. The Advanced Charged Porter actually requires Infused Diamond, which I can't get without dimensional shards and you can only get dimensional shards through creating a dimension with RF tools. Now I haven't really gone out of my way to collect any of these dimlets or anything like that. So creating a dimension for RF tools would probably take a little while. So yeah, we only have three unknown dimlets. So I'm not really going to try and make a, an advanced one. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, back to RF tools. So what do we need to make? Well, um, we need to make a matter transmitter. We 
which I'm actually going to make a couple of these. Uh, so we, don't, we only need one matter transmitter, so that should be easy enough. I keep forgetting shift, shift click. And we're going to need two matter receivers. Obviously one for here at the base, and then one for right outside the stronghold, or I guess inside the stronghold. Because I, I know I can teleport into the end, but I currently have no way to get out of the end outside of using my um, portal gun. And it does require, you know, like a minute or so prep time. It's, in that time, we can get killed by the Ender Dragon or Enderman or yeah. So I really want like an instant peace out tool. So that's what this is for. Hell yeah. So we have our two matter receivers, one matter transmitter. Uh, we need a dialing device. Where's the dialing device? Where are you at? Dialing device. Shift. <laughs> dialing device. Nice. And then I think that's it. Oh, of course, the charged porter. Oh, my goodness. There we go. So charged porter, matter transmitter, two matter receivers, and a dialing device. And I actually, well, I guess we can get to that in a moment. But we're going to need one more thing. But I'll talk to it when we get there. Uh, we're also going to need some conduits. And we're going to need our... our our low output conduits, which are it, it's fine. These are fine. We don't need this thing to be like constantly like super pumped up with power. It just needs to be connected. Oh man, I should have got more. Well, actually, putting this stuff together, I might end up having enough. All right. So first things first, probably be a good idea to run our conduits. Well, actually, nah, 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 nah. Let's wait. So I'm going to put the matter receiver right here and the matter transmitter. Right there. Matter receiver right there. I'll keep in mind that these guys won't stack anymore. Once you place them, they have, you know, weird background datas. So just keep that in mind. All right. So energy conduits, nice and simple. Whoops. Gonna get out? No. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm trapped. Okay, and then from there, we need to connect up the dialing device. So I guess I'll put the dialing device like right here. Well, nah. Dialing device can go right there. Cool. I like it. Need to hook you up, though. Oops. One more. There we go. Perfect. Now that guy should have power. Oh, man. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Let me out. I'm panicking. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. So you're going to fill up with power. These guys should be full on power. Nice. Huh. 20k versus... Or 200k versus 100k. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Cool. So those guys are hooked up. Those guys are done. Now what we can go ahead and do is give this guy a name. Obviously this is going to be Lanotech. And this can be Lanotech Receive. Oh my... Receive. Just to make sure that there's no confusions. And then when we click on this guy, we should see them. Nice. So Lanotech and then Lanotech receive. So if we actually hit this to dial once, nice. That means it's ready to go. And it should. Whoosh. Woohoo! And we got this achievement. So it's really important to make sure that your uh, matter receivers have power. If not, you will die <laughs> if you teleport to them. It is no good. Now, there are, are things that we could make for RF tools to ensure that our stuff has power. And uh, it is called, where'd it go? I think it's the power relay. Nah, 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 nah. Dimension editor, no, no, no. Oh, I didn't write it down, and I'm silly for not writing it down. Energy extractor? Nah. Oh my goodness. Destination. Oh yeah, the destination analyzer. That's right. 
So we can make, oh, that's really, that's really cheap actually. I believe the destination analyzer makes it so you can double check to make sure that your destination has power so you don't teleport there and die, because that's no fun. So let's make one really quick. And while we're here, we can make the other thing I wanted to make. But I really use all those machine frames? <laughs> All right, destination analyzer, fantastic. So from there, the last thing I wanted to make is a redstone charge pad. I don't have any way to actually charge this charged porter because uh, if we, if if you are a fan of my 189 series um, with unstable and all that fun stuff, you'll know that there's actually a a furnace like a coal generator in RF tools. There's not in the one seven version because it, it just uses RF. You just use whatever mods you have available, give it power. Easy squeezy. Now there is ways to generate power in RF tools, but it's kind of complicated and uses ender pearls and I'm not trying to do that. So what we're gonna do is make ourselves a redstone charge pad. It's a little bit complicated, but we should be okay. Now the only thing I'm not sure of is actually if I have Signalum. I don't, okay. So we get to make some Signalum. Uh, let's just look up charge pad. And let us, there we go. Take you out of synchronized mode. I've gotten so used to it not syncing up that it's it's kind of just annoying now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna make this redstone charge pad. So we need some signalum, which isn't too terribly cra complicated to craft. Just a bunch of copper, some pulverized silver, and some destabilized redstone buckets. So we actually need to do a little bit. So let me grab some of this copper. Let me grab some silver. Grab some buckets. You know what? It probably won't go in that. I'll just make some more buckets. So I don't need too much, I don't think. Three buckets should be good. And some redstone. Ah, uh, grab a stack. All right, so let's run downstairs and take care of this up real quick. And then we can make some more cool stuff. Oh man, you're full of resident in there. Get out of there. Or don't. Okay, so yeah, you're set to empty. Why won't you empty? Please empty. Empty, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Awesome. Um, so you, okay, cool. So you have destabilized redstone in you already. I can go ahead and toss some of that in there. Let it melt down. Give me some buckets. Switch you to blue, and you to blue, or not. There we go. We're good. Just need a little bit more. Nice. You know what I should have been doing when I was blabbing? I should have been grinding up these copper ingots and uh, silver ingots. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh good, it's not sending it over here automatically. I thought I got two there for a moment. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> it doubles bars. That's broken. <laughs> uh, so I, I got way more silver than I probably like really needed, but I think we'll be okay. That should be enough to get us enough signalum. We don't need too much signalum, so just enough to make a gear. So let's do one of those. Da, da, da. Bam, signalum blend. There, there we go. It's more than enough, for, hopefully. If not, well, I can always make some more.
You know, it would be nice, a faster way to get down here. Or maybe I should have just built everything down here. Like, this should have just stayed, like, my main room. So all I have to do is just run through these doors. Eh. Oh, well. Lessons learned for, you know, the next season. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do three at a time. That's super awesome. Man, I miss some of these machines, man. <laughs> I've been playing I'm in my unstable world too long. I've gotten unspoiled. Okay, so now we should be able to make this redstone charge pad. What? We're good? Nope. Why are you moving on me, man? It's not cool. Oh, yeah, I also need the machine frame. I might actually have an electric gear. Oh, I do. <laughs> and then from there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I'm short on two fuse cores. Wow. <laughs> you know, I wasn't pre as prepared for this as I thought I was going to be. Can I use this? Yeah? No? Okay. Can't blame me for trying. You know what? Why don't, why don't I have this auto-craftable? Wait, am I crazy, man? There we go. I should have this auto-craftable. That's definitely a recipe that I apparently did not add. Fused quartz. I will have to add that. Or I did add it, and I'm just dumb. Let's see. Nope, I didn't add it. Okay. Well, I will do that later. For now, though, we got to get this done. I'm dragging a little bit. Time's going on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, we got the leadstone. You know what we can do? We can just do this the cool boy way. Uses. Uses. Redstone flux capacitor. And nice. Wet. Why is there no recipe? <laughs> Are you serious? There's no recipe? Why is it not working? Redstone conductance coil. Oh, there we go. There we go. So redstone charge pad. Hell yeah. That was a little bit more than what I wanted it to be as far as time-wise, but hey, we got what we wanted to do. Whoosh. Okay, so from here, where do I want to put this? Somewhere preferably kind of out of the way, but not too out of the way. This would be nice. And what's funny is this whole like little segment could have been completely avoided if... I found a freaking Enderman head from Ender.io. 125 episodes, and I still have not gotten an Enderman head. I wanted to make a wireless charger so bad, and I just never, I never could. Because I need an Ender, an Ender Resonator, and I need a freaking Ender.io Enderman head that I have never gotten, ever. I'm so sad. Oh well. Never lucky. Never lucky. Nice. So you should charge on up. Sweet. And in a moment, we should see this. There we go. Nice. He's slowly filling up with energy. And all as well. And this will actually charge anything in your inventory that uh, requires RF. It also holds a shit ton of RF. Two million. Two million. It's only sending 160 RF a tick. I'm pretty sure that depends on what it's receiving. So that pipe or that conduit is only able to obviously send 640. So this guy's only going to output at 640. Um, I believe its max output is 2048. So if we had the uh, upgraded conduits, we would be even better. But that's okay. This guy's pretty small capacity, only 200,000 RF. Uh, we need to make sure that we right shift right click on the matter receiver here at base to make sure that we can get back. A quick test. Yeah, we're working. It's working wonderfully. 
And I can close some of this up and possibly, oh, not all of it, but close enough, pretty close. Um, which one is it? Oh, there we go. Fancy circuit block. Doot, doot, doot. Man, ah! There's <laughs> one more. Actually, I guess two more because I need to fix this hole too. Oh, well. Okay, you know what we can also do? We can fix this up. But there we go. This is pretty much good to go. Now, what we need to do now is uh, make our trip to the stronghold and hook up the matter receiver. Oh, yeah, I also want to put the destination analyzer on here. I don't know if this needs power or not. Oh, there you go. Check. Dial OK. That's awesome. <laughs> so obviously it probably needs to be touching or at least in the area. I'm going to go ahead and say it needs to be touching just to be safe. Uh, but that's pretty cool. You can check to make sure that you're not going to die as soon as you get there. So let us head over to the stronghold and hook this stuff up. Uh, but first, oh, wrong way. But first things first, actually, I want to... For some reason, I kept thinking that this was downstairs. And in reality, this is actually upstairs where I wanted to fix. Haha! -ha! And like I said, I wanted to jokingly put stone covers. And uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm so funny. Laugh at me. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I fancied this up. Finally cleaned up this area. Got rid of all the stone. And I thought this just kind of looked nice. It was quite appropriate. Nice little accent wall. And uh, yeah, test dummy. I also realized I can't figure out how to pick the test dummy up because I wanted to kind of actually sink this back in a couple more blocks, but I, I can't, I can't pick him up. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh, I picked him up. How the hell did I do that? Well, awesome, dude. Let me just do this real quick. It's a little off. Whoops. I know everyone's probably like, can you just go to the, can we, can we finish the build? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to, I want to set this up. I don't want to get too distracted and forget forever. So I'll just get distracted now. Oh, I forgot the great wood logs. All right. I'll sleep on the great wood logs for now. Let us head to our stronghold. Quick inventory dump. Didn't mean to dump that. It was a remote. Oh my goodness. Uh, applied. <laughs> Give me back my thingy. I can't remember what it's called. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only been like oh, two weeks since I've been on the server and recording episodes, but man, it really, wireless terminal. You really do forget. So, okay, let's take our matter receiver and to power the matter receiver, I'm actually going to use the two survivalist generators from way, 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 way at the beginning of the series. Yep, they're still useful. Because again, this guy doesn't really need a bunch of power all at once. He just needs to make sure that he's able to recharge. So I think a couple stacks of coal. You know what, actually? We can even do it. We can do it one better. We can do two stacks of blocks of coal to make sure that there's no way in hell it's ever going to run out of power, ever. Because it would really suck to, like, you know, need to go to the end and it be out of power and die because we would definitely forget to check all right let's go in the rain wrong direction Oosh. wait am i going the wrong way I was not. I was following the wrong the wrong dot, but I was definitely still going the correct way. So, like I said, I, if we remember back early, early episodes, not super early, but earlier episodes, um, for whatever reason, my journey map info got wiped, so I lost my waypoints, and one of those waypoints was the location of the stronghold. So I had to do the whole Ender Pearl thing again to find my way back to my stronghold. 
but I did find it. But I seem to have lost it once more. There it is. Oh, okay. Let's not just jump down there. Oh, man. Okay. I'm kind of remembering this. Maybe this was... Okay, yeah. This was definitely the Stronghold with the awesome library. For sure. Because, yeah, the, the Departed Stronghold was kind of messed up. It was kind of crap. But this one was, like, super nice. I like looking in the chest like there's going to be something in there I didn't grab last time. Oh my goodness, it's so dark down here. Maybe it's down here. Okay, nope, nope. Ah, let me out. Okay, I don't think it's down there. <laughs> Went that way. it down here. Nope, that's the way out. You know, I should really mark this as the way out. I don't have a sign or anything, so... Oh, well. No library. No library. Oh, there it is! Hell yeah! Woohoo! Nice, dude. I'm gonna take all of these bookcases. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in my own private library. Ooh, some miscraft pages. And a book! How convenient! So I'm going to get to chopping down all of these library books. Although, actually, you know what we should do first? Before we chop down library books, let's let's actually set down... Let's set down our portal. Or not portal, our uh, matter receiver. However, I want to find the portal first. Ah. Portal. Ah. Okay. You're just going to get destroyed. <laughs> Screw you. Oh, there's so many spooky places. I didn't, like, even bother. Oil. Okay. Okay, I don't think the portal's down here. I want to say it was probably on the same level as the library. But it has been a hot minute since I've been in here. Maybe it was down here. Down here. Portal. Whoa, another library. Nice. Dude, I'm going to have books forever. I'm going to be the smartest person in Minecraft, yeah. I'm already the smartest person in Lanotech. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. I'd be so mad. Hey, you have a squid on your head. I want that hat. Aw, oh, no hat for me. Whew. Well, what I'm going to go ahead and do, actually, unless we, like, walk into the ender portal, uh, portal like, right now, which, no, we're not. Eh. Oh, well. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm going to come back next episode. We're going to finish up this build because it's getting kind of long. And I don't want it to be too terribly long. And I'm a little bit lost anyway. And I'm sure everybody's wa tired of watching me run around this massive stronghold. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here. We're going to come back next episode. We're going to put down the matter receiver, our survivalist generators, and all that fun stuff. Test it out. Make sure everything works properly. And then, well... We might go about battling the Ender Dragon. I'm not sure. I know we haven't done it yet. I'd really like to do it. I'm kind of kind of curious how, uh, how quickly we can actually do it. Because we're pretty strong. We're pretty strong. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Lanolin. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.